You asked, he answered. You asked again, he answered again. It's part of having Andy Roddick as part of the Tennis Channel family. Use the hashtag AskAndy, and Andy will answer anything you want to know. Here is a little bit of that. From Justin Pearson on Facebook, what sparked your love and passion for tennis whenever you first started playing it as a little kid? Uh, like a lot of us, uh, I had uh, older siblings. Uh, my older brother, John, uh, was a pretty good tennis player, played the Junior Grand Slams and uh, was an All-American at Georgia and has been a really successful uh, two-time NCA coach of the year. Um, I just followed him around. Um, he used to go do tennis lessons and I started on uh, on a backboard, um, you know, and everything that your older brothers do is the coolest. So uh, it was uh, literally just proximity. I was around tennis, uh, kind of gravitated towards it, started playing it, um, was was decent at it. So, uh, which meant I, I liked it even more. So Andy, how do you like answering the questions of all the fans? The fans are all good. I'm still learning a little something about camera angles. I mean, that was straight up the schnoz, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't, that wasn't. That was. That wasn't the best look at all. <laughs> I got a question for you. I got a question. For yeah. You. Ask Andy. As a fellow married person, how did you get away with uh, secretly videoing Brooke while she was doing her dance class and then putting that on the internet? And were there any repercussions? Always repercussions. It's just that this time I actually earned them. Um, you know, so it, it was it, it was it was a, it was a risky maneuver. Um, you know, at, at this point, I figure I'm kind of the only adult social life she has right now. So she can't be mad at me for too long. It was a it was a calculated risk, Paul. And I think it was worth it. OK, I'm asking for a friend. That's all. Yeah, do it. I say do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah uh, I got another question for you Andy so obviously you put out a tweet a month or so back and, and you just wanted an internship you asked Paul and Lindsay for the recommendation uh, what, what do you think your job so far uh, it's 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 been pretty fun um, I, I, I certainly uh, appreciate Lindsay and Paul going to bat for this uh, for this lowly intern and you know when when my uh, when my time is up here I, I, I'm not sure when they're going to kick me off but <laughs> I might even apply for a paid position next time. <laughs> there you go. I, I, there you go. A Andy, I, I just have to apologize. When you sent in the resume, I told you that it was just going to be for a couple little hits. I didn't tell you it was going to be about this personal stuff, how to trick your wife so you can get some good video footage and yep. all the other stuff. So I got to apologize. We've stretched it out a little. Yeah, it was like it, it was great. It's like we're going to do some on air hits. And then, you know, we, we add a new digital segment pretty much daily. So I should be up to 67 a day by the time we're at the end of this thing. <laughs> you got plenty of time on your hands, right? I don't know. We're building up the erotic fatigue really quick with the amount of airspace <laughs> I'm taking up in the digital space, too. Uh, Andy, know you're a huge golf fan. Uh, this past Sunday would have been uh, final round of the Masters. You actually had a unique experience uh, a few years back with, with Zach Johnson, who made you carry the whole bag in the par three challenge, even though he didn't hit a shot more than 160 yards. Uh, how did this come about? Uh, honestly, it was as simple as a uh, sponsor I was with at the time. Um, they were hosting a, a, a group of us and I, I don't know how it, we figured it out, but there was a couple of people who were looking for caddies. And I said, I will jump in with any player who wants a caddy for the par three contest, if possible. And and uh, I guess I, I think one of Zach's kids, I might get the story wrong, maybe it got sick or uh, so I was a late fill in. And, and Zach and I are actually I, I know I was giving him uh, some grief on this tweet, uh, but we've, we've stayed in touch and we still we still spend time in the same uh, little mountain town in North Carolina sometimes. So we we see each other and play golf in the summer sometime. And uh He's an all timer. And, you know, I guess if you you win the Masters, you can make uh, you can make some random tennis guy carry your bag for for nine little short holes. OK, Andy, we know you have two little kids. I don't know if you're yeah. teaching them golf or tennis or whatever sport, but I don't know if you were watching yeah. earlier today. We showed this video. Is, does this yeah. look like anything going on in the Roddick house? This is great. This is about the amount of uh, enthusiasm that our, our kids show for tennis also. Um, the enthusiasm <laughs> that this kid has shown is only surpassed by his attendance in the clip. <laughs> yeah. 
He does it, and I like I like the consistency with the feed, like as as if the fifty seventh one that he feeds is going to be the one where the kid just snaps out of it and, 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 and gets gets going. This that, looks but, like this, 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 Steve. This looks like most uh, uh, American men trying to play on clay with the footwork. I think <laughs> that's good. <laughs> well, there we go. He got through yeah, that it, one. It, it took about a minute, but he finally, you know, started to swing yeah. a little bit there. Uh, didn't break the racket though, like like your wife did the first time you, you tried to play tennis with her. Yeah, he seemed like like much nicer than my wife when she tries to play tennis. <laughs> seemed like a really really nice kid. Uh, apparently a late bloomer by the by the clip. You know, there's some people that are kind of like diesel engines. They need a second to get going. I think if the clip would have gone on for another 30 seconds, he would have been running laps. <laughs> Wait, are we going to see the 100 volleys with you in Brooklyn? No, 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 that, no absolutely not. No. That's not going to happen. I, I'm not willing to uh -huh. listen. We, we're we're going we're going strong through quarantine right now. I'm not going to bring that in to, to, to cause a relationship <laughs> problem. As as Paul mentioned earlier, I do enough to get myself in trouble. That's that's not going to be good for anyone involved. <laughs> All right. Could be good for TV, though. You know, it would de it would definitely be good for TV, just not for me personally. <laughs> All right, Andy, uh, always great to see you. We'll see you again on Wednesday and you'll be answering more questions online. Ask Andy. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for everything.